In this lesson, we're going to look at the area of a triangle. Now, we already know that the area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by the width. And if we think about it, a triangle is actually half of a rectangle. Let me show you here. If I just take half of this rectangle, so divide it across the diagonal, we can see we have a triangle here, a second one here. Let's just take one of those and you can see I've duplicated it underneath and we've still got this length here of three centimeters and the length, this length here would be eight centimeters. Now we know it's half a rectangle. Let me start by writing out the formula for the rectangle. Well, the rectangle we know is the length multiplied by the width. But for a triangle, we have half of that. Let me just write that down. So the area is the length multiplied by the width. We want half of that, so we're dividing by two. Now, the thing is we don't use length and width for a triangle. We call them base and height. So let me just erase those. So I'll get rid of the length and the width, and we call them the base and the height. So that's the first step done. We always start with the formula. The area of the triangle is the base multiplied by the height divided by two. Now the second step is to do the substitution. Well, we know the base length, well, that is eight. And we're going to multiply by the height. In this case, the height is three. And we are still dividing by two. Eight multiplied by three, well, that's 24. So we have 24 divided by two. And 24 divided by two is 12. And we need to remember to include the units, which is centimeters and its square units. So we end up with 12 centimeters squared. Let's have a look at this second question here. I have a triangle with a height of 10 and the base length is four. So once again, I start with the formula that the area is equal to the base multiplied by the height divided by two. The base length, well, that is four. We're multiplying by the height of 10, still dividing by two. Four multiplied by 10 is 40, still dividing by two. And 40 divided by two, well, that is 20. And we've still got centimeters squared. Now onto this last example, this triangle does look slightly different, but we still have a base length and we still have a height. Now I want to make the point that we have a perpendicular height. If I go back to this previous example, we see here that we have a right angle. So the base length is perpendicular. In other words, at right angles to the height. Down here, we don't have a right angle triangle. So we still need a base length. And if I draw in this perpendicular height here, we do have a right angle here. So we always need the base and we always need the perpendicular height. So let's pop in the formula. The formula for the area of a triangle is equal to the base multiplied by the height. And we know it's the perpendicular height. And we're dividing by two. Second step is always the substitution step. Well, the base is eight, and we're multiplying by the height of three, dividing by two. Eight multiplied by three, well, that's 24, and dividing by two, and 24 divided by two, well, that is equal to 12. And the last step, remember to include the units squared. So the final answer on this one is 12 centimeters squared.